Right now in the United States, we have nearly two and a half million people in prison. It's something that not only costs the taxpayer an unfathomable sum of money, but destroys lives and families and exacerbates the problems of inequality. Over the course of a generation, the United States had embarked on a unbelievable experiment. The largest investment in prisons and punishment that the world had ever made. That begun to overtake all the other things that we believed solved social problems. Daycare, education, healthcare, and housing. How would you describe such a society? Because as a caste system... When we think about inequality, when we think about poverty, when we think about privilege, we behave as if these things are static, that they won't change. And the most unbelievable thing that we've seen in our work at the Bard Prison Initiative, where we provide rigorous and elite education to incarcerated people across New York and the United States, is that people are curious and incredibly resilient. There is no equalizer in a democratic society like genuine education. So they study the arts, they study literature, they study history, anthropology, sociology, they major in math, major in science, and they go on to graduate schools in the Ivy League all across New York City. They manage billion-dollar businesses, and they run not-for-profits in the poorest communities that need them most. This education, this degree, it symbolizes excellence. Excellence does a birth out of struggle. Inequality is the lack of faith on our part in one another. We do not have a person to waste in this country, and without a real investment in education, we will fail in addressing the extraordinary problems we face.